It is cliche to say that the world is a global village. We are in a digital era and it is our responsibility as a school to ensure that our girls thrive in this digital environment and we're doing just that. The quality of teaching that we offer is one that is infused with online, e-learning, blended learning approach really. And so we, our education here is ICT driven. The devices that we use are digital interactive devices so that online, real time, our teachers have access to resources that can be gotten from all around the world at the click of a button. We also have well digitalized classrooms with TVs and internet so that we won't be limited to only what we see but what is happening around the world. We also have the e-classrooms where we can go to for broad explanation on our topics. When we look into them, we have visual and we have audio teachings. The e TV is set high up, so no matter where you sit in the e-classroom, we are able to see and the audio is perfect, so we are able to hear every single word for word. It's like an excursion in your mind, so it is very beneficial to me after my experience in using it. Over the years, we've deployed more advanced technology to meet our evolving needs. And when you look at our classroom, you see smart digital uh, television, you see smart boards in our different classroom. And to the extent that we now conduct um, online exams for our prospective students. I, I think it's a big plus for Anglican Girls Grammar School. Many schools cannot pull this off. And that boils down to the interest of our proprietor uh, to see that, uh, number one, we're ICT inclined, and number two, our education is driven by ICT. So in our school, our examinations are driven by technology. Our students, they embrace technology. To the extent that many of them have written exams um, exams abroad, both Nigeria and abroad, uh, using ICT. The picture is worth a million words. And so the young people now learn better, learn more efficiently when they have pictures, they have images. And so you go into our classrooms, their digital classrooms. We approach teaching through a blended learning approach, which combines the marker, the whiteboard, as well as the digital space that makes sure that learning, you know, becomes tangible for the children. Things that you would otherwise have taught tediously simply using a board and a marker to an extent that it becomes abstract, becomes real to them. They can feel, they can touch, they can see. It's now on a multi-dimensional phase in which it's presented to them. The whole aim of the ICT is to improve students' learning, their memory, because if you check the charts now and you see the charts of the visual and direct learning and everything, you know that visual learning has a more impact than direct learning on children with our developing minds and uh, memory and everything. And the ICT has really helped us, giving me a practical and visual knowledge of so many things. Like during a class, because I'm a gesture student, during my basic science class, we did a sort of, we okay, we learned on cockroaches and the visual, the visual aspect of everything just teaches you more about cockroaches. Because <laughs> personally, I never knew that cockroaches had a brain. But you know, it gives you the whole anatomy of a cockroach. It teaches you, it shows you what a cockroach looks like. and. What I'm just trying to say here is just that the ICT has helped so many students and I'm a living testimony of it. We use the digital library so that if it's access to resources that they need, it's available. These digital libraries are built even into the systems that are used for teaching. So like I said, the teachers can access these resources. You come into the ICT lab, we find that the systems that are there are networked. There's access to the internet. 24 hours in the ICT lab so they have all the exposure they need, they can learn skills that they need to learn. The use of library has become an effective tool for our children. They have the knowledge of how to make use of the library or their free time. They don't misuse, there's no time that is free for them. Any free time they have, they use it judiciously for their academics. That's why they stand out very well.
Now we now have students that can compete favorably anywhere in the world. Some of our students, they are outside the country doing exceedingly great. You see some students that you may probably see as average students, you see them getting scholarship, passing exams, and you keep wondering that these students were not um, the best of students in HGS and they are leading people outside there. And that also speaks to our standard. Whatever industry sector you're looking at now, the digital divide has become something that is strong. And so with the quality of ICT infusion we have in our academics here, we're certain that when the girls go out, they will be able to cope. Know that whether it is testing in these areas, we know they will do well. We know whether it is growing and being able to cope with the changes that are happening on a daily basis, we know that they will do well in these areas.